Glasnevin, Glasnevin, also known as Glasnead, meaning stream of Onea after an ancient chieftain, is a neighborhood of Dublin, Ireland, situated in south of the River Talca. While primarily residential, Glasnevin is also home to the National Botanic Gardens, National Meteorological Office and a range of other state bodies, and Dublin City University has its main campus and other facilities in and near the area. Glasnevin is also a civil parish in the ancient barony of Coolock. A mainly residential neighborhood, Glasnevin is located on the north side of the city of Dublin, about three kilometers north of Dublin city centre. It was established on the northern bank of the River Talca where the stream for which it may be named joins, and now extends north and south of the river. Three watercourses flow into the Talca in the area. Two streams can be seen near the Catholic Pyramid Church, the Claremont Stream or Nevin Stream flowing south from Poppentree and Jamestown Industrial Estate branches, and what is sometimes called the cemetery drain coming north from the southern edge of Glasnevin Cemetery. In addition, a major diversion from the Wad River comes from the Ballyman area, joining near the Claremont Stream. Glasnevin is bordered to the north by Finglas, northeast by Ballyman and Santry, Whitehall to the east, Thibsborough and Drumcondra to the south and Cabrado the west. Glasnevin seems to have been founded by St. Moby sometimes known as St. Burton, in the 6th, or perhaps 5th, century as a monastery. His monastery continued to be used for many years afterwards. St. Coleman is recorded as having paid homage to its founder when he returned from abroad to visit Ireland a century after St. Moby's death in 544. St. Columba of Iona is thought to have studied under St. Moby, but left Glasnevin following an outbreak of plague and journeyed north to open the house at Derry. There is a long street, Iona Road, in Glasnevin named in his honor in the church on Iona Road ice called St. Columbus. A settlement grew up around the monastery, which survived until the Viking invasions in the 8th century. After raids on monasteries at Glendalough and Clondalkin, the monasteries at Glasnevin and Finglas were attacked and destroyed. By 822 Glasnevin, along with Grange German and Clonkin or Clong, now known as Dean's Grange, had become parts of the Grange farm, of Christ Church Cathedral and it seems to have maintained this connection up to the time of the Reformation. The Battle of Clontarf was fought on the banks of the River Talca in 1014, a field called the Bloody Acre is supposed to be part of the site. The Irish defeated the Danes in a battle, in which 7,000 Danes and 4,000 Irish died. The 12th century saw the Normans, who had conquered England and Wales in the 11th century, invade Ireland. As local rulers continued fighting amongst themselves the Norman king of England Henry II was invited to intervene. He arrived in 1171, took control of much land, and then parceled it out amongst his supporters. Glasnevin ended up under the jurisdiction of Finglas Abbey. Later, Lawrence O'Toole, Archbishop of Dublin, took responsibility for Glasnevin and it became the property of the Priory of the Most Holy Trinity, Christ Church Cathedral. In 1240 a church and tower was reconstructed on the site of the Church of St. Moby in the monastery. The returns of the church for 1,326 stated that 28 tenants resided in Glasnevin. The church was enlarged in 1346, along with a small hall known as the Manor Hall. When King Henry VIII broke from Rome an era of religious repression began. During the dissolution of the monasteries, Catholic church property and land was appropriated to the new Church of England and monasteries, including the one at Glasnevin, were forcibly closed and fell into ruin. Glasnevin had at this stage developed as a village, with its principal landmark and focal point being its bullring noted in 1542. By 1667 Glasnevin had expanded, but not by very much, it is recorded as containing 24 houses. The development of the village was given a fresh impetus when Sir John Rogerson built his country residence, the Glen or Glasnevin House, outside the village. The plantations of Ireland saw the settlement of Protestant English families on land previously held by Catholics. Lands at Glasnevin were leased to such familias and a Protestant church was erected there in 1707. It was built on the site of the old Catholic church and was named after St. Moby. The church was largely rebuilt in the mid-18th century. The attached churchyard became a graveyard for both Protestants and Catholics. It is said that Robert Emmett is buried there, this claim being made because once somebody working in the graveyard there dug up a headless body. By now Glasnevin was an area for families of distinction, in spite of a comment attributed to the Protestant Archbishop King of Dublin that when any couple had a mind to be wicked, they would retire to Glasnevin. In a letter, 
dated 1725 he described Glasnevin as the receptacle for thieves and rogues, the first search when anything was stolen, was there, and when any couple had a mind to retire to be wicked there was their harbor dot but since the church was built, and service regularly settled, all these evils are banished. Good houses are built in it, and the place civilized. Glasnevin National School was also built during this period. In the 1830s, the civil parish population was recorded as 1,001, of whom 559 resided in the village. Glasnevin was described as a parish in the barony of Kulak, pleasantly situated in the residence of many families of distinction. On June 1, 1832, Charles Lindsay, Bishop of Kildare and Leithland and the William John released their holdings of Sir John Rogerson's lands at Glasnevin, including Glasnevin House, to George Hayward Lindsay. This transfer included the sum of £1,500 sterling. Although this does not specifically cite the marriage of George Hayward Lindsay to Lady Mary Catherine Gore, George Lindsay almost certainly came into the lands of Glasnevin as a result of his marriage. When Drum Condra began to rapidly expand in the 1870s, the residents of Glasnevin sought to protect their district and opposed being merged with the neighboring suburb. One of the objectors was the property owner, Dr. Gogarty, the father of the Irish poet, Oliver St. John Gogarty. Glasnevin became a township in 1878 and became part of the city of Dublin in 1900 under the Dublin Boundaries Act, which received the royal assent on August 6, 1900. George Hayward Lindsay's eldest son, Lieutenant Colonel Henry Gore Lindsay, was in possession of his father's lands at Glasnevin when the area began to be developed at the beginning of the 20th century. The development of his lands after 1903-04 marked the start of the gradual development of the area. Glasnevin remained relatively undeveloped until the opening up of the Carroll Estate in 1914, which saw the creation of the red brick residential roads running down towards Drumcondra. The process was accelerated by Dublin Corporation in the 1920s and the present shape of the suburb was firmly in place by 1930. Nevertheless, until comparatively recent years, a short stroll up the old Finglas Road brought you rapidly into open countryside. The start of the 20th century also saw the opening of a short lived railway station on the Drum Condra and North Dublin Link railway line from Glasnevin Junction to Connolly Station, then Amyon Street. It opened in 1906 and closed at the end of 1907. Glasnevin Railway Station opened on April 1, 1901 and closed on 1 December 1910. The village has changed a lot over the years, and is now part of Dublin City. It is now populated by a mix of young families, senior citizens and students attending Dublin City University. As well as the amenities of the National Botanic Gardens, Ireland, and local parks, the National Meteorological Office met Erin, the Fisheries Board, the National Standards Authority of Ireland, Sustainable Energy Ireland, the National Metrology Laboratory, NML, the Department of Defence and the National Enterprise and Trade Board Enterprise Ireland are all located in the area. The house and lands of the poet Thomas Tickle were sold in 1790 to the Irish Parliament and given to the Royal Dublin Society for them to establish Ireland's first botanic gardens. The gardens were the first location in Ireland where the infection responsible for the 1845 to 1847 potato famine was identified. Throughout the famine research to stop the infection was undertaken at the gardens. The which border the river Talca also adjoin the Prospect Cemetery. In 2002 the Botanic Gardens gained a new two-story complex which included a new cafe and a large lecture theatre. The Irish National Herbarium is also located at the Botanic Gardens. Prospect Cemetery is located in Glasnevin, although better known as Glasnevin Cemetery, the most historically notable burial place in the country and the last resting place, among a host of historical figures, of Michael Collins, Eamon de Valera, Charles Stewart Parnell and also Arthur Griffith. This graveyard led to Glasnevin being known as the dead center of Dublin. It opened in 1832 and is the final resting place for thousands of ordinary citizens, as well as many Irish patriots. Approaching Glasnevin via Phibsborough is what is known as Hart's Corner but which about 200 years ago was called Glasman Oak, and was then a well-known stage on the way to Finglas. At an earlier date the name possessed a wider signification and was applied to a considerable portion of the adjoining district. At the start of the 18th century a large house, called Delville, known at first as the Glen, was built on the site of the present Bon Secours Hospital, Dublin. Its name was an amalgamation of the surnames of two tenants, Dr. Helsam and Dr. Patrick Delaney, as Heldeville, 
both fellows of Trinity College. When Delaney married his first wife he acquired sole ownership, but it became more well known as the home of Delaney and his second wife, Mary Pendarvstadt. She was a widow whom Delaney married in 1743, and was an accomplished letter writer. They couple were friends of Dean Jonathan Swift and, through him, of Alexander Pope. Pope encouraged the Delaney's to develop a garden in a style then becoming popular in England, moving away from the very formal, geometric layout that was common. He redesigned the house in the style of a villa and had the gardens laid out in the latest Dutch fashion creating what was almost certainly Ireland's first naturalistic garden. The house was, under Mrs. Delaney, a centre of Dublin's intellectual life. Swift is said to have composed a number of his campaigning pamphlets while staying here. He and his lifelong companion Stella were both in the habit of visiting, and Swift satirized the grounds which he considered too small for the size of the house. Through her correspondence with her sister, Mrs. Dews, Mary wrote of Swift in 1733, he calls himself my master and corrects me when I speak bad English or do not pronounce my words distinctly. Patrick Delaney died in 1768 at the age of 82 prompting his widow to sell Delville and return to her native England until her death twenty years later. Glasnevin is also a parish in the Fingal Southwest Deanery of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Dublin. It is served by the Church of Lady of Dollars. The church underwent some refurbishment work inside and in its grounds and car park during the first half of 2011. A timber church, which originally stood in Berkeley Road, was moved to a riverside site on Botanic Avenue early in the 20th century. The altar in this church was from Newgate Prison in Dublin. It served as the parish church until it was replaced, in 1972, by a structure resembling a pyramid when viewed from Botanic Avenue. The previous church was known locally as the Woodner or the Wooden, and the new building is still known to older residents as the New Woodner or the Wigwam. In 1975, the new headquarters of Metaran, the Irish Meteorological Office, opened just off Glasnevin Hill. On the former side of Marlborough House. The Met Aaron Building 2 was built in a somewhat pyramidal shape and is recognized as one of the most significant, smaller commercial buildings, to be erected in Dublin in the 1970s. Griffith Avenue, which runs through Glasnevin, Drumcondra, and Marino. The avenue spans three electoral constituencies. It was named after Arthur Griffith, who was the founder and third leader of Sinn Fein and also served as president of Doyle Aaron. Arthur Griffith also was buried in Glasnevin Cemetery. The Gaelic games of Gaelic football, hurling, camogie and Gaelic handball are all organized locally by Nafi and the CLG, while soccer is played by local clubs Talca Rovers, Glasnevin FC and Glasnevin FC basketball is organized by Talca Rovers. Tennis is played in Charleville Lawn Tennis Club which was founded in 1894 and took its name from the original location at the corner of the Charleville and Copper Roads. The move to its present location on Whitworth Road took place in 1904. The club has a membership of 400 senior and junior members and the club has won many Dublin Lawn Tennis Council titles. Hockey is also played in Botanic Hockey Club on the Old Finglas Road. Glasnevin Boxing Club and Football Soccer Club has a clubhouse on Mobby Road. Scouting is represented in Glasnevin by the First Dublin, LHO, Scout Troop located on the corner of Griffith Avenue and Ballygall Road East. The Scout Group celebrated 100 years of scouting in 2011 making it one of the longest established scout groups in the world. There are several primary schools in Glasnevin, including Lindsay Road National School, Glasnevin National School, Glasnevin Educate Together National School, North Dublin National School Project, School Mobby, St. Bridget's GNS, St. Columbus NS and St. Vincent's CBS. There are several Roman Catholic secondary schools in the area St. Vincent's, Christian Brothers, School, School Chatriona and St. Mary Secondary School. Billy Whelan, one of the eight Manchester United players who lost their lives in the Munich Air disaster of February 6, 1958, was born locally on April 1, 1935. He is buried in Glasnevin Cemetery. Glasnevin is part of the Doyle Aaron constituency of Dublin Central and Dublin Northwest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.